What's going on guys? Today I have for you a guide for the brand new Blood Raven Mountaineer. So basically, if you don't know, Sledgehammer put out a new update and now you can get new challenges for the Zombies mode. There are 12 new characters and one of the characters can be unlocked on Grosden House. The Blood Raven Mountaineer. The challenges are survive 30 rounds without downed players, survive 20 rounds without taking damage and kill the Brenner on Grosden House. So in case you don't know, on round 50 spawns a Brenner on Grosden House. So yeah. For the first challenge I recommend that you open the box room and get Packer punched weapons. So you have to do the jack in the box easter egg. You can try to get the Packer punch 1911 from the box or just keep it as your starting weapon and use free fire. For your loadout I would say free fire, fully loaded, resourceful and mark 2 to speed things up. I was able to do this challenge in no time. So if you need help, I will put a link of my full gameplay in the description. You don't really need to train until round 30. But if you have problems with that, you can use my training strategy that I also use for the round 50 challenge. But I will talk about that in a minute. First, let's look at the second challenge. For the round 20 no damage challenge, I highly recommend a team that can carry you. Because your teammates can take damage and it will still count. However, look out, because you can get fall damage on Grosden House if you jump down the stairs. For the loadout I recommend Free Fire, Flag Jacket, Mark II plus 1911 and Resourceful to get more power ups. So my strategy for this one is to stay in the box room. There are 3 things that you need to do for this challenge. Number 1. Get Packer Punched weapons and get the 1911 Packer Punched. Number 2. Stay in the box room and camp right next to this door. Number 3. No one else can stay in the box room except you. You want to stay alone in the box room. As long as the other players are running around, they will distract all the zombies. And from your camp spot, you can just wait and defend yourself. Here's another important thing. Use the C4 type grenades so you can kill a zombie even when you need to reload. But yeah, try to get the bacon and eggs pistols and play as safe as you can. If things get too heated, use refire and spray your bacon and eggs. Otherwise, always try to use your grenades. And like I said, you want to camp right next to this door and look outside of the room. From this angle, you see the zombies that will attack you from your left and right. But yeah, that's it for this challenge. Again, you can do this with a team, but you can also do it in a random lobby, as long as your teammates don't camp right next to you. And for the Brenner Round 50 challenge, well, my first tip would be to Pray to God. No, but for real, it's possible. I used a modified strategy from my round 25 prologue guide. My strategy is to use shell shock and to stun the zombies and wristlings. It is the easiest and safest strategy, if you ask me. It took me 3 hours to do it, but I feel like with free fire it's just a mess, especially on the later rounds. Because you can't do shit against the wristlings and you only mess up your train if you spray your bacon and eggs. So basically, your loadout, shell shock, fully loaded, resourceful and sustain zone. And the 1911 with extended max. And you definitely need double tap, stamina up and quick revive as your perks. If you don't get this free, you should restart. Get the box room open, get the 1911 and the MP40, pack a punched and follow my strategy. Begin your round next to the combat shotgun. Run and jump down the edge. Run to the room with the armor and from there run upstairs. And you want to shoot right next to the combat shotgun with your MP40. Because of this, the train balance is on this side of the house. And this will lead to not getting stuck if you jump down the edge again. Because even if you just kill a few zombies or just stun them next to the combat shotgun, you can escape pretty easily. Also try to recover in a room with the armor. You can shoot the zombies from there, but never shoot the zombies that are coming from the stairs. Otherwise, you will get stuck if you run upstairs. So take your time and recover and use your momentum when you run up the stairs. I also recommend that you pick your bacon and eggs when you run upstairs, in case you do get stuck. And try to move your camera quickly, because of this trick, it's more likely to not get hit by zombies. A lot of high round players do that. Here's the key. You want to save your shell shock until wave 40. Because every time you use it, it takes more and more to fill it up again. So really try to use it on the first 30 rounds as less as possible. And if you are in the 40s, you will get 4 wristlings per round. 
so try to activate Shell Shock when two of them have spawned. But if things get too heated, you can of course use it anytime you want. So activate it and shoot the Wüstlings in the back with your rifle. But always run in this circle, shoot with the MP40 or SDG and use Shell Shock and your bacon and eggs. Until round 50. On round 50 you need to kill the Brenner. This can take a while. And of course I recommend that you save your Jack in the boxes and Shell Shock for him. Maybe consider using consumables like overcharged or insta kills. But try to shoot at his back or head to kill him. If you have a max ammo consumable, use it to get Jack in the boxes. But just play it safe and you should be able to do this. And once you kill him, congratulations! You got a brand new copy and pasted secret character. Honestly, he looks not that different. So these hard challenges are definitely not worth it. But whatever. Thanks for watching and good luck.